Hello everybody, Catboy Vaughn here to do another Marvel Universe figure. This time I'll be doing Luke Cage. Luke Cage. Oh yeah, did I mention who I'm doing a review of? Oh yeah, that's right. Luke Cage. Luke Cage. Yeah, I've known this character for quite a while. The only... How did I first hear about this character? Is he's... He's pop culture... More of pop culture status than... A few other heroes that I can think of. But he's still a little less... Un, he's a little less known. Well, I had a little comic book with him, Spider-Man, and Storm. Odd pairing, I know. Uh, odd choice of characters, I know. It was an anti-smoking comic I got when I was a kid. Yeah, it's not very good, but... I got to see the character, and I thought he was pretty cool. But, but... The outfit did look a little stupid, but... This is the modern outfit of Luke Cage! He was formerly known as Power Man back then, but... He's now just Luke Cage! I'm just gonna do that every time I mention his name. Luke Cage! That's gonna get annoying really fast, isn't it? Probably. But let's read let's read a little back. Here's a little picture. He's the fan's choice runner up. Why was he a winner? That's odd. Oh well. Let's read this. It's been a long time since Luke Cage! went by the name Power Man and a lot has changed he's gone from an independent operator making money with his powers to a, to a leadership role in the Avengers there was a there was a time when he his bulletproof skin and super his super strength made him impulsive and short tempered but his recent responsibilities forced him to think of others first before he acts. Well, that's always good. I, I, I like when heroes can do that. They actually think. Because I love superheroes. Because they're awesome. Well, let's go to Luke Cage. He's wearing a black shirt, by the way. Um, his head can slightly go up and down. It turns 360. His arms go about this high up. Bend in and out. Turn 360. Turn 360 to the bicep. Bend at the elbow. The hand turns 360. Waist turns 360. Goes up and down. Feet spread out. Go up. Bend at two points. Feet uh, don't really pivot and uh, are really hindered by the, the jeans, making it very hard to turn 360. But they do seem like they have the ability to turn 360. I just can't do it. In the way of accessories, Luke Cage. Luke, I'm, I'm sorry, I messed up there. Luke Cage! Comes with a stand that says Luke Cage. That's getting annoying, isn't it? Chains that say Cage. And a bended steel bar. Which I'm having. Which I tried to put in his hand. I've had a little difficult doing that. Oh well. There was one other. Oh, here it is. It also comes with a hat. Let's put the accessories on, shall we? Well, the chains and the hat. Yeah, because that he's Luke Cage, and he's awesome. Is he's Luke Cage? That looks weird. Still awesome. 
Well, now let's go to the top secret files. It doesn't have a hammer logo on this, which is a little weird because it's part of the hammer line. See? Anyway, um, let's see. What should I go to first? Um, code that's completely and utterly useless. Card that has a little tiny picture of Luke Cage and information. Another thing, he never signed up for the Superhuman Registration Act. I don't... A lot of these characters haven't, I reviewed, have never signed up for it. Oh well. Anyway. Real name, Luke... Luke Cage! Legally changed from Carl Lucas. Codename, Luke Cage! Hair, bald. Eye color, brown. Height, 6'6". Six, six. Weight, 425 pounds. Wow, he's heavy. Sex, male, but he's mostly made of muscle. Superpowers. Superhumanly strength, able to lift, press 25 tons, steel hard skin, self-taught hand-to-hand combatant, and expert street fighting expert. A little short, but that is made up in how long this is. This time it's from Hammer's office in Washington, D.C. Director Osborne, I ask you to re... I ask Contiguance Division to work on some options for taking down the Regard Vigil... Vigil... Luke Cage Vigilante. Luke Cage. As you know, his strength in impenetrable in pen ten I can't speak. His indestructible skin, that's it. Per presents serious se serious difficulties. We believe explosions explosives of significant strength could take him out. But obviously that would cause, that would result in serious collateral damage. Well, this is Norman Osborn, so I'm guessing he wouldn't care. However, I found a prototype, I mean, a protocol prepared by my predecessor for sub, six, some word, some word I can't read. I'm going to call subduing Wolverine. I think with a few modifications, it could be adapted to capturing Cage. Cage! It would require some heavy ordnance and shackles made from vibromium, which will incur significant cost. I have secured a source of vibramium, if you will analyze the 7.1 million dollars expense expenditure I will begin work on vibrating the shackles sincerely Colonel Paul Colburn that sounds like a lot of money and knowing Norman Osborne he's not gonna do that probably spend, spend enough money as it is but that's just me thinking that. Anyway, Luke Cage is a completely and utterly awesome figure. I highly recommend him if you see him. Because he's Luke Cage. Anyway, I'm Catboy Van. Thanks for watching. And remember, Luke Cage approves of my channel. Because he's Luke Cage. I'm still going to keep doing that, aren't I? I'm Catboy Van. I'll see you later. Bye.